be the problem? Um, I was told to call this number. And what was the call regards about? Um, some kind of money. Okay, some, and what happened? Did the person call you? Did he provide you with some information? No. He just said okay. I had won something. Okay, um, can you get a piece of paper and a pen? How long ago since you spoke with that person? When? Yesterday. Well, yesterday, and do you have his name? Um, Miller. Okay, this is David Miller you're speaking with. Okay. So you have the pen and the paper, ma'am? I do. Okay, I need for you to write down my name. That is, the, oh, you already have my name. You're going to write down my company name. That is the Publishers Clearing House. Uh-huh. Ma'am, next, you're going to write down how much your price package is value, $2.5 million and a Mercedes-Benz car. Uh-huh. Are you taking this for a joke, ma'am? Excuse me? Yes, are you taking this for a joke? For a joke? Are you taking it for a joke? No, I actually have to inform you that the FBI is recording this phone call. So what that's supposed to mean? Uh, the... Federal Bureau of Investigation is recording this phone call. Yes, I know. So what that's supposed to mean? I just have to inform you legally that that's taken place. So what's going to be happening? What you're taking this for, a gimmick? No, we're just recording it for precaution reasons. So we are you right now? Are you home? Um, does it matter? Ma'am, your price package is going to be delivered towards your place of residence today. But I want to know, ma'am, you're interested and you're not taking this for no forms of gimmick. Oh, no, we're interested. We're just recording it for precautionary purposes with the FBI. Okay, that's no problem with me. What do you have written down so far? Um, two and a half million in a Mercedes Benz. Next week, you're going to write down... Your package number, that is 00870-39. Mm-hmm. Nextly, you're going to write down UPS. You're the one going to have this being delivered to you. Okay. Nextly, you're going to write down the name of your claiming card. That is called a green dot money pack scratch card. Uh-huh. Ma'am, how are you writing down them, these information so quick? Read them back to me. Um, 00870139, green dot scratch card. Green dot money pack scratch card. Right. What happened, ma'am? How far are you away from a Walgreens? From a Walgreens? Yes. Yeah. We are about two miles. And do you have a transportation that could be taking you there right at this moment? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to be on the line with you, ma'am. You need to head towards the Walgreens. Okay. Okay, um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be on the line with you. Let me know when you're in your vehicle. Let you know when I'm in my vehicle? Yes. I'm going to be on the line with you. going to head towards the Walgreens. Oh, I can't leave right now. So what's the problem, ma'am, why you can't leave? Because I have five children at home. So your husband is not there? No. Oh, oh. Because you see this green dot money pack scratch card? You, uh -huh. have, to obtain, you have to obtain this card at the Walgreens. And you okay. have to get it for your one percent shipping and handling fee, which is only for fifteen hundred dollars. Excuse me? You have to obtain it for your one percent shipping and handling fee, which is only fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. Do you follow? Do you want me to explain why? Why what why you have to get this card? 
sure. Okay, you should know, ma'am, once someone in our country won over a million dollars that the government will require taxes, right? Uh-huh. These taxes, ma'am, have to be covered by both the winner and the company. Why these taxes have to be covered by a winner and company, ma'am, is because your prize is coming towards you tax-free. That means when you receive your prize, ma'am, you won't pay any taxes up on your prize. You're going to be living a life of a financial freedom. It could be six months from now. It could be two your times from now. The exact amount you receive is all for yourself. Now, these forms of taxes I'm talking about, ma'am, it's including the U.S. Custom and Stamp Processing and Validation, IRS Processing Fee, Shipping and Handling, and these forms of taxes. Now, these taxes have to be covered on your price, so your price package could be fully registered, so my delivering team could get the permission to be over towards you. Do you follow? Okay. How did I, how did I win this prize? Okay, now, there's a new promotion we have here at our company by when citizen of the United States pays their phone bills on time, their utility bills, or their taxes, or you shop at any convenience store around you, that's a Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, any forms of grocery store around you, sending over $25 or more. We have automatically selected 600,000 United States in our Powerball raffles. Throughout this raffle, ma'am, we have selected three grand prize winners within this promotion. We have a first place, we have a second place, and we have a third place. Your number was selected as our second place category winner for this month. All right. Okay, how was it? So I haven't entered anything, so how about one, two and a half million dollars? We do not hear I explain to you. Your phone number was selected. We have selected 600,000 United how many, States. How many people actually fall for this? Ma'am, what do you mean fall for this? It seems like you're taking our company for a joke. I'm absolutely taking it for a joke. And I've researched your phone number, and it's all over the Internet as a scam, which is why the FBI is listen, recording this call. Listen, Skidar, get off my line. You Listen. I think I have time to play games and pull. pull Obviously, you have all day to play games. If you think that we are stupid enough to fall for oh, this. Yes, yes, if you're stupid. Um, I know there are many of you out there who are stupid. You fucking stupid bitch. Go suck your husband and give him a bad blowjob. Oh, God bless you. This is going to the you FBI. Fucking, yes, I'm not, oh, I'm afraid of the FBI. I want you to come when you're coming and you see what you will get. You know, the fucking Oh, bitch. I don't have to come. The FBI will come. No, I want, I want to head up. I want to see you with them. Yes, I want to see you with them. You, you, then when they're coming, are you going to see what happened? You think fucking prostitute? Oh, how do you sleep at night with that potty mouth? <laughs> Bitch, you give your husband bro job and that to wash you, not to fuck her. You realize all this is being recorded, correct? I know, so I give a fuck what you're going to do. I could give you even my address, or you come meet me and see what happened. Give me your address so I could come and give you a visit. And kill your five children. Your five children. You know, I play. Listen, <laughs> I'm a Freemason freak. You're laughing. You're laughing. I'm. I'm just letting you know straight up. I'm a Freemason freak, ma'am. I worship the devil, and I know where you're at. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna sacrifice you. Just wait. Okay. Well, I worship the I'm joking. Christ. Okay. <laughs> you think? You think I'm scared? I worship Jesus Christ, which is more powerful than the devil, so I'm sorry, but that doesn't faze me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this thing, bitch. <laughs> you're laughing. You think, oh, you're going to see. You think I'm a joke. I'm joking, bitch. I know where you live. I have your address. And I'm a free man. You're going to see what happened. You told me you have five children. And you, really? you told me you have five children. You're going to see what happens. What's my address? Oh, what's your address? You think I don't have your address? Don't I worry yourself. I think you don't have my address. <laughs> oh, what if I give you your address right now? What would you say? 
don't worry yourself because if I give you your address right now, I know you will worry yourself. And I don't want oh, you no. to no, know no, when no. I'm going to come. I'm I know you're in Mississippi. I'm the city you're in is... I'm not worried about you. I promise you that. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. You're going to see what happened. Who has lost? Lost best. And you're going to see what happened. <laughs> Are you finished? Hello? I'm here. Are you finished? Because every bit of this is going straight to the FBI. So what, the FBI? You know what FBI, the, the abbreviation for FBI? I don't really care what your abbreviation is. Okay. Because you fuck. You know what? Bitch, you're, you're just drawing me out. Because you think I give a fuck what you're going to do. Come on, find me. I just want you. You know where I'm at? I'm in New York. I'm in black. I'm in fucking New York. Do you know where Queens, New York is? That is Jamaica, New York. Do you know where that is? <laughs> I, I don't me. care where you are. I don't plan on wasting my time. I do hope you find you. No. Because I'm. Why are you recording this? I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to. If it's the last thing I have to do on this earth, I'm going to kill you and your five children. Mark what? my word. I need you to take it in your big fucking head. I'm going to really? fuck you up. Really? Okay, you think I'm joking. You're going to see. You fuck with me, you fuck with your wrong guy. I don't you think I care what happened tomorrow? I'm going to fuck if it's the last thing I have to do. You're going to see. And mark my word. And I'm not fucking joking about it. Really? Okay, you're going to see what happened. And what kind of man are you to threaten children? Threaten children? You fuck around me. You messed with my head. You know that I don't fuck with people. You know who, who am I? I don't fuck with people if no one fuck with me. Why you tell me you're going to set FBI on me? I don't give a fuck if the FBI catch me. And if it's the last thing I have to do, is to fuck you up. And mark my fucking word. Language. Okay, you don't. I'm not worried if you're worried about the FBI. I don't, I, I, why? I don't want you to worry because I'm dead serious. I don't want you to worry. I don't want you to fucking worry. You're just gonna see. And when you see, you're gonna see that I'm a man of my word. I know I'm a man of my word. You're gonna see. Okay, now, do you think a professional should talk like that? Pardon? If you're a professional, why do you speak so hatefully? Ma'am, you get me pissed off. I don't like people to get me pissed off. I don't fuck with people. You call my phone and come telling me bullshit because someone told you to call me. You told me to call you, correct? This is Miller, right? Yes, it's Mr. Miller, David Miller. You want my date of work? You want my address? Because I will stay in my house just to see the FBI come, and I want them to bring you with me. And I blow up the whole fucking house with all of us. Okay, well, what is your address? Okay, you ready for it? I'm ready. It's 8015. Uh-huh. Jeff Street, G-R-E-N-F-E-L-L. Jeff Nell Street, Queens, New York. That is Jamaica, New York. Queens, New York. Zip code one. One four one five, and I'm not playing. And I have your address, and um, I right now I'm tracing. I have a trace on your number. I know you're in Mississippi. It's Tosina, Mississippi, and I don't fuck. I, you think I'm joking? If this is the last thing I'm gonna call this phone company. Probably you're with AT and T or T Mobile, one of these shit. And I have to find you, somewhere or another. I don't play. And you're gonna see. That I'm, I'm, you're going to see. I just can't, I can't wait because I don't like people to fuck with my head. Actually, this phone is a pay-as-you-go phone from Walmart. Okay, what, what's the name of the phone company? It's through Walmart. Oh, you get it from Walmart. Now, you know the oh. pay-as-you-go oh. that you can check out and buy the phones at Walmart? So do you go to Walmart very often in your city? How often? What day and what day you go to Walmart? Every Monday. At what time? Give me the, um, the approximately time. Every Monday at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. And you, do you bring your five kids with you and your husband? Um, normally, yes. 
Okay, great. I want you to bring them with you this Monday. Okay. I okay, and I'm not joking about it. I'm very serious. And I'm going to call you to make sure you bring them. Um, um, you're going to see what happens. What what street the Walmart is at, the one that you go? Give me the street. Hershey's. Pardon? Hershey's Way. Hershey, what spelled it? H-E-R-S-Y Way. Okay. Okay. What's the zip code? Well, you should be able to look it up if you have the address. Ma'am, you think I'm playing? I give you my address. Because, ma'am, right now, I will give up anything just to... I'm not... You know what? You're wasting my time. I'm going to fuck you. You're wasting my time. All you've done is cuss me out and threaten my children. Did I threaten your children or I threaten you? You threatened my children. Pardon? You threatened my children. Ma'am, I have three kids. I, I love kids. I don't play with kids. But if your kids are there, they're going to end up going away with you. And I'm serious. I don't really... Now, how would you feel... Kids. Now, wait a minute. How would you feel if somebody threatened your children? Would you not... Oh, ma'am, listen, as I told you, I told you, I'm a Freemason free. I rush the devil. Nothing can happen to my children. That's, I give you my word. Um, I'm, okay, I understand that. But if somebody threatened to hurt your children, would you not be defensive and protect them? So you, what are you saying? Um, I I'm, threaten I'm your children, saying, so you're going to be defensive and protect them right now. No, I'm saying, can you blame a mother for protecting her children? Would you not do the same for yours? I don't blame you. That's your children, and everyone loves their children. Who won't see the best for their children? But listen, that's why sometimes you cause problems on your children. Suppose by tomorrow you wake up and your five kids are dead. What would you do? Do what? I didn't hear you. Like like how I just threatened you, and tomorrow you're, you woke up and your five kids are dead. What would you do? Well, I would hate to think about that, but I don't know. What would you do? Okay. What would I do? I No one, can, nothing can do my children, so I don't have to think what would I do. Okay, well, that's the same way I feel. Okay, but you're going to see what that. It won't be tomorrow, but if your kids have to end up to be the one, you're going to see, because you call me and tell me that I called you. If I was interested in you, I would have called you. You told me you're recording this. And you are you you disrespect me. I don't like to be disrespected by anyone. That's not disrespectful. That's being precautious. And I would think that if somebody was asking you for money and telling you you had won something like that, you would be smart enough to do okay. the same thing. Okay, okay, be honest with me. Who is this stupid person? If someone Excuse calls me? and tells you, listen, who will, who is stupid enough to send someone your money and you never apply for any winnings? I just, I feel, okay, um, for instance, I'm playing a prank. I call you and said you have one. Hey, congratulations about uh -huh. your winning. Who is the stupid one? Who you should blame? It's the, who, who, it's the one who is... So you mean the people your... that send y'all money are the ones that are stupid, right? They should get the blame. They never applied for any winning. Okay, I understand know. that, but why would you get angry at somebody who's smart enough to figure it out? Ma'am, I know you were joking from the beginning. You think I'm stupid, but you just fuck, um, fucked up my day. And right now, I'm not in a great mood. Wait a and minute. What do you mean what? joking from the beginning? What do you mean? Ma'am, I know you were taking it for a joke. That's of why course, I was because I'm smart enough to know that you don't send money to win money. So that's what I'm talking about. So, who so why would you get part? angry? No, I, what no, y'all no. are doing is wrong, though. I mean, earn your money know, honestly. I, yes, listen, you think I don't have conscience? You think you think I don't have conscience? I'm not so, Well, if you worship the devil, I don't know where your conscience would come into play. Yeah, no one worships the devil. Who in the hell would worship the devil? There's what lots of people like nowadays that the worship devil. the devil. <laughs> lots of crazy well, really, out there. You really believe that I worship the devil? Well, I mean, that's what you've told me, so I don't know I if don't you do or not. I hope yes. not, for your children's I, I sake. I don't worship no devil. Listen, I'm a Christian here. I well, I'm glad to hear that.
I'm glad you to hear that. Who, 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 um, what person who tried, um, could you hold for two minutes? Uh-huh. Hold on. Here, here. Yes. Hello? Uh huh. So you wanna you wanna really know why I do this? You really wanna yes. know why? Yes. Yes. It would make me feel a little bit better because you've been pretty hateful to me. Damn! I was just playing. I was just seeing what you're gonna do. Well, that's not nice. I mean, somebody who has children, that's just not nice. I earn money honestly. We're not rich. I'm smart enough to catch on to stuff, but I don't understand why somebody has to be so hateful because I never was that way to you. No. No. It's what you told me. You you tell me um you tell me something that that get me offended. Because I that's told like, you I was recording the call, which honestly I feel like you got offended just because you were mad that I was smart enough to catch on. No, no. You tell me. I don't really remember what you told me. I didn't. I never threatened you. Um, the no, most I said to you is I was recording this from the FBI. No, you, you, I, I don't remember exactly what you said, but I was offended by that. Well, I apologize for that, but um, I don't believe I said anything nearly as offensive as you did about threatening me and my children. Ma'am, listen, I'm in New York, and I, you don't think I would do something like that. I have my kids. The reason why I said that, I was just seeing what you're going to do. You think, I don't care if you want to record this. I don't care if you want to give it to the FBI. I don't care. I don't care. I do this for a reason. I have my reason. My reason, any person, I don't know what you said about my reason, but I have my reason why I try this stuff. I don't just get up. I have conscience. I'm a human being. What if someone should try to resolve someone in my family? How would I feel? Well, I just think that you need to put yourself in other people's shoes because when you say such hateful things, it really is awful. It's just really awful. That what? Just to threaten such horrible things that you've done is just really awful. Everybody has problems. I mean, everybody has problems. Listen, and I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry to threaten you. That was because I was just mad. I can't do one shit. And I didn't rush the devil. I just say so. I just really want to hear what we're saying. Well, I, I've, not, I've I, been threatened by many of people, and I will say from what you said, it was just very hateful. Ma'am, listen, if you get to know me, you will you will surprise that I say such things. I just hope that, you know, you will rethink ever saying something like that to people because anybody you're talking to on the other end of the line, they have yeah. feelings, they have a family. Okay. The, reason like why, the, reason why, the reason why I kind of, I have short temper. I don't like, like people to disrespect me. Well, I don't really disrespect people, but if you get me out, that's how I stay. Well, you, you have to earn respect. You know, you have to earn it. If you treat others nicely, you'll be treated nicely. But when somebody, when you feel like yeah, somebody's I'm trying sorry, to take I'm advantage sorry. of you, you get defensive. And, you know, everybody struggles in life, but we need to try to do what's right. I mean, that's part of being a Christian is you try to do the right thing. Yeah, but you know that all the... Um you cannot trust no one, not even a pastor. I understand you know that. that. I understand that. Trust me. But, you know, it, I understand that it's hard and everybody has to support their family. But, you know, you're taken from others dishonestly, you know. And I know that people, when you're dumb enough to fall for it, sometimes you're thinking, well, it serves you right. I agree with that to a certain point. So what but, you're saying, some of these persons that get ripped off, they don't deserve it? 
No, I'm saying that sometimes when people are just so dumb to send you money, I agree. Sometimes you think, well, you know what? You were dumb enough to send it, so it kind of makes you feel a little bit better about it. But, you know, just because somebody falls for it, everybody's just hoping to get rich. Everybody wants the same things in life. But we don't need to do it by taking advantage of others. We need to do it the right way and follow the Bible. Yeah, I'm, what I'm saying, I didn't say I don't follow the Bible, but sometimes you have to do um, that stuff to, um, stuff to understand. You don't understand the way we're from, what we do for a living. You don't understand what we go through. I, I don't know what you're, what's going on in your life. You're right. I, you could be going through some awful things. A lot of people are. But we need to help each other instead of trying to take advantage. And I oh, honestly be believe, now listen to me, I honestly believe in karma. And if you do people wrong, I think that it not only comes back on you but your children. So just try oh. to do better. And if you have a problem with your temper, just get a little bit of help. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I can call myself. But I don't like people to disrespect me. I don't go and just disrespect people like that. Okay. Well, now, when you called me and you try to take me for a fool and want me to send you money, I feel like that's disrespecting me. So we both were disrespected. Oh. I'm sorry to disrespect you. But you can do what you want to do. I don't like people tell me what. If you, you, because better if you did not tell me. Um, even if you were recording this and give it to the FBI without telling me, that will won't be any problem. But you're telling me, and I don't care. That's why I know if even they're still recording, I don't care. I don't care if you give them, but they can't do me anything. And it's not Freemason or anything, but I'm not stupid enough. Look, I'm just trying to help you. I want you to just think before you call people because, you know, people work hard for their money and everybody wants to be rich and they are sending you money in hopes that maybe you're telling the truth. And there's a lot of people that fall for it, I'm sure. But it's just not doing it the right way. Yeah, well, you think, um, you, even if I listen to what you tell me, you think it's going to stop there are million of people doing this shit. Oh, I understand there are lots of people doing it, but that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it right. There's lots of people killing people. That doesn't make it right. And you know what's right deep down in your heart, and you need to try to do what's right. Oh, I know. I'm just telling you, you will feel better inside if you would just try to do what's right. And it's hard being a Christian in today's world, and it's hard to go. But if you treat others, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, and you will feel better inside. Because there's lots of people that are just plain hateful, but I don't feel like you are. I feel like you just needed a little bit of guidance. Suppose I did call you and tell you I need a two hundred dollars. I'm starving. I didn't eat for three weeks. Could you send me the money? Look, I'm not. I have five children myself. I'm not in so a position to send that money, but I, I do and try to. What would you do? I understand. I completely understand that, you know, you have to earn money the way you do. I understand that everybody needs to earn money. In today's world, it's hard to earn money. But you just, you know, it's like you're taken from others. It, it's just not right. It's just not right. I mean, there's got to be a better way. I have five children, and I have not had any college education, but I will get out and I will clean streets and mow grass to get money before I would take from somebody else. Ma'am, I understand everything you're saying. I just want you to think about it because I know when you don't, if you were to see me face to face and be talking to me, I don't think you would ever be as hateful as you were on the phone. But it's, you know, it's a real person on the other line and they have feelings. Just with you and your children and your family and everybody is family. Everybody, we are all just trying to make it in the world and be Christians and hoping to get to heaven. There's no reason to do others this way. 
Okay, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm going to think about it. I cannot just say I'm going to listen to you. I'm just well, gonna I appreciate it. it. I appreciate it. And just pray about it. You'll feel better. You, you'll know what's right inside. It's instinct. You'll know it. I'm gonna and think it's about hard it. for me to that. say all this and be nice to you after you threatened me and my children because you know... If you want to make somebody mad, you threaten their children, and that's why you did it. You wanted to get under my skin. But you know that it's not right. It's wrong. So just think about it before you do that to somebody else, because you could really scare somebody. And, you know, there's people that can't sleep at night for fear of just living in today's world. It's so awful. We don't need to do that to each other. I know. And I have to go right now. I have to go grocery shopping for my kids. Okay. Well, you just pray about it. Okay, I will. I sure. Okay. All right. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.